Here we go, Sky Bet League 2 time. Better get these matches predicted before the games kick off, of course, because midweek games, weekend games there, the matches just keep on coming along there. 24 teams, 48 games, and less time to do it in, squeezing it in because of that late and later start than they were supposed to do. So let's get to it. It's for the City. They won their last match, a goal to nil. Tom Parts getting the job done. Carl Lowe got a man sent off with Gwyn Chowowi in the 60th minute. 12 to 9 shots for Carl Lowe, 2 on target each, but ultimately Isla City were the winners. Late and Owen, 4 0 domination against Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers. Bolton Wanderers, who were predicted to win this league. Win this league, would you believe it? They find themselves of memory all the way down in what 19th place or so they are just a few points away from relegation jeez need to really buck up the ideas give the players a slap on the wrist and get in a new manager and sort everything out there Danny Johnson Joba McGarth Connor Wilkinson and Craig Clay getting the job done scoring the goals for later and who were also a formula Great sides, but not as great as Bolton One was back in the Premier League just a few years ago. Oh, 17 A shots for Bolton and sits the none, sits the none on target for Leighton Owens. Oh, Stevenage and Glinsby 0 0 draw, 19 to 6 shots for Stevenage and sits the two on target. Barrow came away with a 1 0 win against Bradford. Connor Bryant scoring the goal. Bradford didn't help matters as Levy Sutton got sent off in their 37th minute. 12-7 shots and 5-2 on target for Barrow. Newport County got themselves a 2-1 win against Howergate. So that really helps them leading the way out in League 2 by a few more points now. Had Pad Wake, Almond and Brandon Cooper scoring the goals for them. For Howergate's William Smith did get an equaliser just before half time. And that was when they were down to 10 men as well too, because Josh Falconham got sent off in the 37th minute. 23 to 9 shots for Newport with 5 to 1 on target. Cheltenham, 2 1 winners against Forest Green. William Boyle and also Andy Williams scoring the goals for Cheltenham there. Alan Collins scoring for Forest Green. 11 to 9 shots for Forest Green and 5 to 3 on target for Cheltenham. Mansfield and Warsaw shared the points in a 1-1 draw. Nicky Maynard scoring for Mansfield and Elijah Adebayo scoring for Warsaw. 10 to 9 shots for Mansfield and 5 to 3 on target for Warsaw. Walkroom 1-0 win against Tramier. Adam Phillips scored a penalty kick to win the match ultimately for his side. 13 shots each and 2 to 1 on target for Walkroom. Port Vale, two new winners against South End. Tom Pope scoring a brace to get the win. 11 to 8 shots and 6 to 2 on target for Port Vale. Corley, two one winners against Cambridge. Matt Walters, Tom Nichols. Uh, score the goals after Joe Ironside's got an early goal for Cambridge. And finally, Salford, they did come away with the three points. A 2 new win against Oldham. James Wilson and also Ashley Hunter scoring the goals for Salford. 16 to 9 shots and 8 to 1 on target for themselves there. So, how do we get on with our predictions? I can say I did better this time around at 15.05. But it's in the likes of Morkwim, Barrow, Newport, Salford, Port Vale, and also Stevenage and Quinsby the draw for the football summator. 11.52 this time around. But that then the likes of Exeter, Cheltenham, Crawley, Newport, and also Port Vale to win their matches there. The overall leaderboard sees me closing the gap because the football summator still leads the way. 90.66. I'm in second place, 82.77. Carver White has gone involved before, 22.24. And ECF Scoobs in fourth place with 3.3. 3. So there we go, match day number 11. Unfortunately, don't have the head tier records in front of me so if you are watching this and you're like oh i'm really i'm really wanting them then put it down in the comment section below and i'll keep you more informed and updated because i did look at them previously but there has been a few times where i haven't always been all the notes there but i just need to 
know the previous results and also the scoreline predictions and odds is the main thing. I can sort of a little bit get away with not having those head to records because I know in my own mind, I do look at them, I do look at the table to make all these predictions to begin with there. So just a little bit more confirmation as well too, you might want to be needed and that's what the comments is for so I don't have to produce this video at a later time before you know the, the games come thick and fast there so the earlier I produce it the better it is. Alright so first up we have Oldham as they take on Cheltenham. Cheltenham comes to this match as favourites at $2. We got 330 for the draw and $3.40 for Oldham. I'm going to go for a draw for this match here, a 2-2 draw. In fact the football semantics is going to go off Cheltenham 3-2 winners. Next up sees Mokwam as they are taking on Exeter City. Exeter City are the favourites at $1.91. 350 for Mokwam and 330 for the draw. Gonna go for Exeter City, they're in better form at the moment. Uh, 2 1 win. Uh, football Smash is gonna go with Mokwam. They did win their last game, so potentially back to back wins. A 1 0 win. Bowls and Wanderers. What can they do here, eh? <laughs> as they take on Mansfield. They are the favourites, $2.37. 310 for the draw and 2 dollars 80 for Mansfield. I'm gonna back them to get a win, but I'm probably not gonna back them too often anymore. Gonna go up Bolton, one their winners. Football scientists gonna go up Mansfield to get a 2-1 result. Next up sees Bradford as they take on South End. Bradford are the favourites at $1.53. 3 dollars for the draw and $5 for South End. South End still yet to win a match this season. So they're going to do it eventually. Hopefully they can do it here so they can believe once again. Because they just like Bolton. They came from the high division from League One and they're looking like they might actually drop out of the Football League and into the National League there. But I think it's going to be South End one new winners and see if that changes the course of the season. Football Slater is going to go up a 1-1 one, one draw. We've got a big match here, probably the game of the week, I suppose, out of League 2. Cambridge taking on Salford. $2.30 for Cambridge, $3.30 for the draw, and $2.80 for Salford. Normally I back Salford to win, but for this game here, got to back Cambridge at time as well, too, uh, uh, for a 3 1 result. Football Slater is going to go up Cambridge 1 0 winners. Carlisle, they take on Newport County. 263 for Carlisle, 320 for the draw, and 2 dollars 50 for Newport. Gonna go off a 2 0 win for Newport. Football Samantha's gonna go off a 1 0 win for Newport there. Next up says Col Colchester as they take on Stevenage. 2 dollars for Colchester, 325 for the draw, and 3 dollars 50 for Stevenage. I think it's gonna be quite a few goals in this match. Uh, five goal match. Well, ultimately, Colchester winning it three goals to two. Football Science is going to go up a 1 1 draw on this one here. Next up is Forest Green. They are the favourites at home against Leighton Owens at $1.80. We've got $3.40 for the draw and $4 for Leighton Owens. Going to go up Forest Green, two new winners. Football Science is going to go up Forest Green, three, two winners. Grinsby taking on Barrow. They both bailed at the same odds here, so you can flip a coin, but you need a three-sided coin, so maybe a dice, and then you can do one, two, three, four, and five and six, for example. Two dollars fifty for Grinsby, two fifty for Barrow, three thirty for the draw though. Gonna go Grinsby, two one winners, football semantics is gonna go Grinsby as well. A one nil result. Howergate, they take on Tramia. Dollar eighty-three for Howergate. 375 for Tramere and 330 for the draw. Gonna go with Howergate, a 3 0 win. Football Science is gonna go with a new new draw. And last up says Warsaw as they take on Crawley. 210 for Warsaw, 310 for Crawley, and 330 for the draw. Gonna go with a 1 1 draw. Football Science is gonna go with a 3 1 win. Oh, 3 0. Sorry, 3 0 win for Warsaw. So that is match day number 11 out of Sky Bet League 2. Feel free to get involved, put your own thoughts, predictions down below, and then we we'll shall see how we all get on next time round. But until then, make sure you hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button, it will be greatly appreciated. Cheers.